Hi everyone, my name is Eddie Zaratsian. I'm an event and floral designer. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a skulls arrangement. Let's go back into my workshop area and I'm going to show you how this is done. So this arrangement that I'm going to show you today is going to be a fun one. It's with skulls. I've taken two urns, one small one and one medium one, and I've painted them black. I'm using sage, which I love. I love like the gray-green texture to it. I'm going to use agapanthus. Agapanthus is usually flowering in the springtime, and these are the pods. And for some odd reason, I think these are painted a little bit black. And then I'm taking coxcomb. Coxcomb reminds me of uh, brain, like the way the brain is. So if I'm using a skull arrangement, I mean, these are always so natural to use for me. I've already lined my containers with newspaper, and now I'm gonna take my cellophane. And this is just to protect the oasis not leaking through the container. And a smaller piece for this smaller urn. And let's start with a small one. I'm gonna take the pre-soaked floral foam and I'm gonna cut it right in the middle. Now this seems a little high for me, so I'm gonna cut back a little bit. I'm gonna scale it back. I'm gonna cut this back a little bit and then I'm gonna cut a little bit like so. You see that? Then I'm gonna cut the edges off. And the reason I do this is because when you're watering it, again, you don't want to spill all over the table. Let me get rid of all this foam right here. So you can also do this if you needed to. So I'm gonna cut the cellophane now like this. So I'm gonna take these skulls and I'm gonna take a wooden stick. I'm gonna cut it in half like so. And I'm gonna dab a little bit of glue hot glue. There's an opening right here on the skull. And this is just to really secure the skull on the foam so it doesn't move around. While this is drying up, let me do the second one. Again, dab of glue, let it dry out. So this one's ready already. So I'm going to put this like so. See how that easy that is? And this one as well. Then I'm gonna take my sage. I'm gonna use one bunch per arrangement. And sage has a really, well, you know the properties of you know, sage cleansing and you know, burning the bad spirits away. So it's kind of an oxymoron to use something with a skull and sage, right? So I'm gonna put the sage all over to cover the foam. I'm almost finished. Then I'm gonna take the agapanthus. And the agapanthus, I'm gonna use it two ways. A, I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna use it vertically, like so. I'm gonna tuck it in a little bit like so, in between. And agapanthus comes in, in a, like a light blue lavender color and then it comes in a white coloration. These are the pods, obviously. And I'm gonna continue with the other one. So if I did the arrangement and I put these on the left side, I'm gonna do this one on the right side so that when I'm grouping up together, it kind of has movement and unity together, like it was intentionally made for, with one another, like so. Go back in here. And then we also have the coxcomb, right? And that's gonna have, it's gonna give it a little bit of color to the arrangement. I think I have one more. I'm gonna put the agapanthus, a couple more in there. And now I'm gonna take the coxcomb. I'm gonna take a dab of glue, hot glue, on the coxcomb. And then I'm going to tuck it in like so. Like so. 
like so. I'm gonna start on the other one. And this is looking great. Easy, fun. And you can actually go back here into the eyes. I'm gonna put two more right here. One right here. And one right here. I'm gonna take these pods, put a little bit of glue. I'm gonna go back into the eye part of the skull. I'm gonna pretend these are the eyes. Just a little extra layer of detail. And last one. And look how gorgeous these skull arrangements are. So for more information on my video tutorials, go to my YouTube channel, Eddie Zorazian. See you next time.